Hello, hello, this is Sir David the Bard, and it's just my head. My body is in the shirt here, you can see. <laughs> I have a little bow tie on. <laughs> hey, for a dollar at Walmart, it's worth it. Now listen, this is my new desert industry store. <laughs> God, that place is going to kill me mentally or physically. All right, I go over to DI. And I know you people have told me, don't go over there. But remember, I told you I'm mentally ill. It's hard for me to change habits. So, I go over. And one thing I'm a sucker for at DI. Now, you got me off the phones. I've got 92 phones in the house. None of them work. Okay. So, I don't buy phones there anymore. I love clocks that do something, like a, uh, a cuckoo clock where the thing comes out, or it has a pendulum on it like this, or it has a little twisty bar on it and goes back and forth. I love clocks. Well, they don't need to tell time. I already know what time it is. <laughs> time for me to quit making videos. Anyway, I, I got suckered into beautiful lamps. I don't know why some people give such beautiful stuff away, but they do. So I went in yesterday, and I saw this lamp, and I go, I got to have it. I got to have it. Now, I know touch lamps, because I've bought two or three over there, and they've all worked well, and they've served me well. So I bought this beautiful, beautiful touch lamp, and it matches our new bathroom perfectly. So <laughs> I put it in the bathroom. Well, I turned the son of a bitch on. <laughs> it doesn't come on. I'm thinking maybe it's not a touch lamp. So I spent 20 minutes looking for the cord to be broken, looking for the, the, the plug-in to be bent, or, and, and looking for a switch. A lot of times I can't find a switch, and I give it to Allison, and she finds it right away. So I, I tore it apart. There There is no switch. So I put it down on the table there in the living room and I pulled the bottom off of it and sure enough uh, it was a touch lamp and I looked into the little container and it had a burned over spot <laughs> I go, God, that ain't, there it is that's why it's not working so I said to myself <laughs> self you can be pissed at the Mormons and selling their <laughs> defective shit but you've got to be smarter than the Mormons and I said I am I know I'm smarter than the Mormons because I get the hell out of there so I take it apart and I look under there and there's six wires, three going into the lamp, three coming out, and a hot and a cold. And I'm going, holy crap. <laughs> the kids are all in school right now and if I plug this in and I'm electrocuted, I'll be laying on the floor dead when the kids come in. And they probably won't even notice me. <laughs> They'll just step over me. So I say, hey, I got to try. I got to try. The Mormons are not going to beat me <laughs> to the ground, which they've done on other occasions. So, I take the wire and I say, <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> now, that's the way I do electrical shit right there. Eeny, meeny, miny, <laughs> and it's usually blow. <laughs> so, I thought, well, I'm going to be smarter than the Mormons because I know that that, what's it called, a GIF plug in the bathroom uh, is more sensitive than circuit breakers. And so if I've got it wired wrong, I could put it in the bathroom uh, outlet and it shouldn't explode. It, it will turn the outlet off, but it won't hit the breaker switch and <laughs> I won't catch the house on fire. I thought, hey, that's a bitchin' idea. <laughs> so I go in and sure enough, I lay the lamp down and I look around and I say, God damn, <laughs> there's water everywhere. I'm going to die. I'm going to die, but the Mormons are not going to beat me. So I went over and I plugged in the the new lamp. Well, damn, it lit up. It lit up like a firecracker. Now, you know those touch lamps have three settings, a beautiful low uh, setting, a medium, and a high. Well, I had wired it to the high, and um, so I, uh, I put it up on the table there, and it looked like... <laughs> A searchlight from Universal Studios. And I said, God, it fits in beautifully. It's got, um, oh, what do you call that? Stained glass. Uh, it's beautiful, but it's too bright. So I thought, well, how you turn this lamp on is you plug it in and <laughs> you plug it out. That's the turn on right there. And I said, God, it's so bright. So I decided after it had been on for a few minutes, I would dim the lights with my own... <laughs> 
non-Mormon dimmer. <laughs> so I reached up onto those hot bulbs and I started to unscrew one. I, holy shit! <laughs> so now I'm licking my fingers. <laughs> now it's wet up there again. <laughs> and I'm unscrewing the light bulb. Well, it worked. And now it's down to two lights. So I <laughs> get it down to one light. So my wife comes in from uh, from working, and I said, I have a gift for you. She says, well, what is it? I go look in the bathroom. She says, oh, well, that's pretty. That's very, very nice. And so, uh, you know, we left it on there, and, and we have dimmer lights in that bathroom, too, and so you can dim them in and get a really good mood. Well, this morning, <laughs> we wake up, and she's so funny. She's so sweet and funny. She said, I'm not familiar in this country. When is Mother's Day? And I said, well, honey, it's about a year away. <laughs> then she started hitting me. Because <laughs> she's not stupid. She knows it's somewhere in the next few days. So after she's done hitting me, she said, well, uh, are you going to get me a present? And I said, well, honey, I already got you a present. She said, what was it? And I said, that beautiful new uh, lamp, light, in your new uh, bathroom there. She says, isn't that beautiful? And she says, yes. But I do have a question. And I know every time she says that, uh, I need to hold on to my ass because she's smart as a whip. She said, how do you turn that lamp on? And I said, well, honey, there's, there's some good news. <laughs> and there's some bad news. And she starts slapping me again, beating me up. Oh, God. She said, have you been to DI? And I go, yes. <laughs> so I said, you just plug it in. She said, yeah, but only one light comes on. And I said, well, honey, there's some good news and some bad news about that. If you want it brighter, you just <laughs> get a face cloth that's wet. <laughs> or put your hand in the sink and get it all wet. And reach it up there, and then you can screw the bulb tighter. Boom. The second one comes on. Boom. The third one comes on. And she says, and you think that's a present. <laughs> I said, well, I did, but right now I don't think I do. I said, I'll get you something. I'll get you something. You, you're going to keep the lamp. And I'll keep the lamp. But, uh, you know, you need to put a dimmer on it and a, a real light so that I don't have to unscrew the bulb. So, anyway, uh, the morning went off uh, not well. <laughs> she thought I was giving her the lamp. If I could get away with it, I would have said, yeah, there, there's your Mother's Day present right there, a lamp. But I've learned with women, uh, it's got to be much more personal. Uh, you can shock them, making them screw the bulbs in. <laughs> they want perfume or they want something personalized. They don't like fridges and uh, microwaves and uh, DI lamps. So anyway, the, the, I beat the Mormons again. Now, I, I don't have a regular dimmer, but I have the ability to dim that damn light. And I can turn it off. Just yank that plug right out of the ground it'll come out. So anyway, uh, I'm trying to make an advertisement here for DI. If you really want to get unreliable <laughs> shit that doesn't work, <laughs> things that rich people have thrown away because they're smart, they go, hey, a poor person will buy this. So anyway, uh, I wanted to tell you my <laughs> latest DI experience. Don't go over there unless you're just looking to have fun. Don't buy anything. <laughs> My wife gets so pissed when I go over there because she gets those kinds of lamps. <laughs>